Ta-da! Welcome to Joseph's Hi-Fi in my pursuit for sumptuous sound. This is obviously uh, number six, my anniversary. See, it's all subliminal. Happy wife, happy life. I say that in every single video. But without further ado, it's uh, the... Um, video on the amplifier, the Pioneer SX1980. And here it is in all its glory. Let's make it official. Brilliant. All still working, all still original lighting and all the rest of it that is in this. Um, so needless to say, um, for many people, the Holy Grail. For me, I consider it the Holy Grail because it's probably an affordable amplifier that um, gives me what I'm looking for. That uh, the classic look, the simplicity, um, it also gives me a um, feeling of um, restrained ambivalence, mostly because of the fact that while I absolutely um, love it and it's got every key feature I want in a uh, receiver, including VU meters, I think the whole series of videos should have been on that. Of course, I've got the VU meters. Of course, I've got the nice, simple bass and uh, treble controls. I've got my volume knob and indeed, a nice clean tuner and at the end of the day there's a whole bunch of additional features here that I may or may not use accordingly it's nice to know that they're there at the same time I do like my simplicity so much so that inspiration during the build of our um, of our house came um, even in the kitchen if uh, you have a look at this video here you'll notice that the ovens uh, just have three clean knobs, which give me that classic hi-fi look that I was chasing. More importantly, I really didn't want to have the digital clock interface on it. That so it makes things look a little bit uh, dated and just like everything else. And the same thing here. I really didn't want to have the whole digital interface going on. As uh, mentioned, obviously we've got a uh, CD player that obviously has the uh, airplay ability and the digital streaming. Um, but the actual amplifier, the focus is just that. Again. Uh, it's on top of the cabinet. I didn't want to hide it. I think it's magnificent seeing the great big uh, heat sinks and the beautiful uh, timber type cabinet that's uh, surrounding it. Uh, needless to say, born in 1978 uh, with a uh, total harmonic distortion of 0 0.03, uh, it's uh, at 270 watts RMS and that's conservative. I'm sure anyone that has done their research and looking into this amplifier knows all about it. I'm not going to bore you with all the uh, statistics and the rest because you all know about this anyway. So it's really just to see uh, another example of one. Now, this one hasn't been rebuilt or in any way. Um, it still functions absolutely perfectly. I'm a little convinced there's a little bit of um, left bias on it. And uh, I do think we do need to change those um, the uh, power transformer according to capacitors and the like. Um, as is done on these models and that will be done but it's taken me just this long to get where we are so at least give me some time to enjoy it and I'm sure I've been put in touch with someone here in Australia who specializes in this and uh, will do it. I really would uh, prefer not to be putting in the uh, LED uh, lights and retro placements. I'm going to try and keep it as original as possible because I do like that beautiful warm glow. Um, as I said with the cabinet itself when um, when I was opening it up and showing you the lights in there for the records trying to keep that nice warm white it's just cozy and inviting and uh, certainly brings me back to when I was listening to records in my younger years so um, that being said um, this amplifier has taken um, some time to get in fact years if I'm a hundred percent honest and price I wouldn't even want to bat an eyelid at what it has been I, I can't even tell you from the get-go um, my hunt for this have started nearly 10 years ago and uh, when I did find one and that would have been back in crikey 2015 or so um, the cost was surely at least about 5,000 Australian dollars I was looking at there, let alone the uh, shipping that would be required to get this uh, into the country. Uh, needless to say, uh, I'd like to say a big shout out to Laurie for uh, allowing me to get some of my equipment in on his container um, for getting this thing into the country. Of course, it was shipped. That took even longer. Even when it arrived, the house was being built, storage again. Uh, it has taken a long time for it to appear. Now, of course, being a... Um, being from 1978, so that's just a, a year older than me. I'm getting old, I told you, grey hair. Needless to say, though, um, it's in quite good condition. There are a few uh, scuffs and marks on it, but again, it functions perfectly, and 
It's what it should be. I'm going to use it. We put it on and we listen to music. That's the whole fun of this actual amplifier. Um, I think one thing, and again, it's not something you do. And again, as you'll see in uh, video 11 on the antenna mast, I do like to listen to the radio. That's quite nostalgic. Rebel FM, rock and roll. Uh, but all the other stuff. But what I do love about the tuner, as many, and I do have a Marantz as well that uh, also has this nice weighted feel to it, is during the tuner thing, not that we're always obviously just trying to get to where we need, uh, but that, that pure weight that sits on the actual uh, tuning knob itself, um, even if you were to just give it a good sort of spin, it just continues to keep spinning. And um, I think that's fantastic. I'm, I'm actually surprised that the uh, the drive lines for the actual tuner are still in uh, that's just truly effortless silky smooth uh, momentum I'm happy to have that replaced accordingly and even if uh, digital broadcast carries on and we don't even have the radio anymore I would still ensure that this functionality exists it's a uh, it just fills you with good endorphins when you uh, when you go along and give it a twiddle uh, needless to say that goes with the rest of the knobs you know that that nice mechanical feel to everything it's a polished receiver um, I couldn't be more happier with this, um, whether you can see it or not because of the lighting we're trying to achieve, but any more than if we're choosing the different speakers, um, we can still have them uh, light up accordingly. Um, of course, the functions, your FM with the beautiful blue, the AM in the red, auxiliary in that uh, yellow, and then orange for Phono 1 and green for Phono, oh sorry, Phono 2 and Phono 1 respectively. Um, needless to say, all still working absolutely perfectly because of YouTube uh Copyright laws and that. I'm not going to play any music per se. You'll see in some of the videos that I've got the meters moving and that. I will try and play a piece um, somewhere. Um, but it's an absolutely astonishing piece. I absolutely do love it. Uh, it uh, had it was at the time had won the receiver wars. There is a Technics model that was actually just uh, one higher, but this was an attainable model that was available at about uh, $1,200 back in uh, the late 70s when it was released. So with inflation, it's gone up. They're getting harder to find. Um, but uh, certainly if you do, I think it's a, it's a beautiful asset to have. Very heavy, again, as I said, with the steel arms that were uh, anchored into the found concrete foundation when we built the house. I think every little bit of extra support it gets to hold something coming in it on 35 kilos uh, it is well well worth it. Um, that's pretty much it. Again, um, we'll tidy this up. Again, I'm no uh, video editing genius or anything like this. In fact, I'll just share a little video that I'm shooting on another camera behind me just so you can see my hokey pokey setup to try and do this. Um, so needless to say, the editing can be a bit rough sometimes and the audio may be a bit here and there, but we're doing the very best that we can to make sure we can um, share with you the experience of Joseph's Hi-Fi. Needless to say, that's going to wrap up this video for the moment. The next video will be number seven, where we'll be talking about the CD player and the uh, digital stream uh, options we have available feeding into the amplifier. Uh, and until then, that's it. And thank you and enjoy. Just on that with the uh, video editing as well, I'll just take a quick interjection here, and that's a very silky smooth uh, transition we did there, isn't it? I just want to say on um, some of it, obviously this is all being shot on an iPhone 6S. Remember the year is 2020, so the phone is an older phone, and of course I don't quite have the lens options uh, I would like. I noticed in this one, just to get me to where I need to be so it's proudly in and I can still have my head in it, I may as well have been using my nose to point to the treble and the volume respectively. Needless to say, I think it just adds a bit of character to these videos and I sure do hope you are enjoying.